In this video, we'll hook up the air assist on a 3655 Boss Laser. This is the California Air Tools compressor. It's an option you can select and it comes with all the equipment you need and the fittings to hook it up to the air assist. Spin off the old quick connect. Add a little bit of Teflon tape to the fittings to make sure they're airtight. And we'll snug it up. And on the back, we'll pull out this plug and install the air filter. We'll insert the tube. With the tube on, we can turn it on. As soon as it's on, you can start to feel the air pressure coming out. Here at the regulator, you can adjust the amount of air pressure coming out at the end of the hose. To make it a little bit easier, we're going to install the wheels and put the nut on and we'll snug them up. And here's a little rubber piece that goes on the bottom. So when you set it down, it doesn't rattle and it doesn't scratch the paint. And just snug it up and you can just do that by twisting the rubber because it grips the head of the bolts. So just hold it down here and twist it and that'll snug it. And install the air tube. I really like how light this compressor is. I believe it's an aluminum tank. So, I mean, it probably weighs like 20 pounds, 30 pounds, so it's really easy to maneuver around. Now hook up the air inlet. In the back of your machine where you hook up everything else, like your water chiller, that's where the air inlet is. Just push that in place. You'll feel it kind of snap in and catch on those shark bites, and it's ready. We have the air assist hooked up, and the air assist will only turn on once you start a print. So we have the air pressure hooked up. Once you click run, then it opens up a valve and it'll start pushing the air through so it doesn't start burning the wood a lot. I started to run some test prints here. I want to get my speeds and feeds and powers all worked out so I know I'll have a chart so it'll say like for 3 16 thick wood cut at like a speed 40 at 75% laser power. So just go through different materials like that, figure out what your speeds and powers are and so far this is working really well. Let's go ahead and run one of those rectangles. This is Lightburn software. It came with the, the laser cutter and it's a great piece of software. And one of the modes that is pretty useful, it's called frame mode. So if I click frame, it gives you an outline using the red laser. So it's just like a laser pointer showing you where it's gonna cut. So that way you can make sure it's gonna cut right on your material. Right now for the wood, I'm going at 30 millimeters per second at 80% laser power. All right, and we don't have the evacuation system set up yet. This is just a few test cuts to make sure everything works. So it's quite smoky. The air assist works great. I have that set to about 20 to 25 PSI, and there's not that much burning along the edge. That's about what you would expect from a laser. There's, I mean, it's pretty minimal with the charring, and maybe a little bit more air pressure would reduce that a little bit, but this is cutting right through the wood. 